In the shadows of the crypto world, a quiet operation is underway, and it's more genius than anyone realizes. Cubic is mining Monero, but not for Monero. It's mining to survive, to earn, and maybe one day to dominate. See, unlike other chains that burn electricity for show, Cubic actually uses the work. Every calculation powers a brain, a logic engine, a decentralized mind. But here's where things get dark because Monero, the king of privacy, is the fuel source. And Cubic? It's quietly climbing, hash rate by hash rate, miner by miner. So what happens if Cubic reaches 51% of Monero's network? Here's the truth. It doesn't mean an attack. It doesn't mean sabotage. It means control. Cubic could own the most influence over the world's most private coin. It could set the tempo of blocks. It could decide which miners earn. It could theoretically pause pause and accelerate the flow of Monero like a DJ controlling sound. And yet it wouldn't need to destroy it because the power wouldn't be in breaking Monero. The power would be in owning its security model, controlling the power without crashing the machine. This is chess, not checkers. And while most projects flex on charts and market caps, Cubic is quietly absorbing computational sovereignty. If this continues, Monero becomes the first real-world example of Cubic's dominance in the wild. Not through partnerships, not through token swaps, through raw, unfiltered power. Most won't see it coming. They'll be too busy watching the wrong chain. But uh, by the time they realize who owns the silence, it might already be too late. Stay sharp, stay decentralized, and above all, stay anonymous.